Hi again, it's Elizabeth from AllThingsPaper.com and this is my newest mini that I wanted to share with you. I am having so much fun making these things. Um, like I said before, I really can't get enough of these. I'm not sure why, but I just thoroughly enjoy making them. This one um, has a vintage theme to it. I was thinking about an old attic or an old house and what you might find in it um, when you're creeping around the attic looking for things, an old dusty trunk and things like that. Uh, it's a, this mini is a, an envelope mini. I used uh, number 10 business envelopes and the overall size is about uh, four inches by about four and a half inches. And uh, on the front here, this is, I love this beautiful graphic here. I think that is so pretty. And that's kind of what got me going on the whole theme. Um, I also included this beautiful little charm here that I made, I put together with some findings of my own. And I used it because it has, I don't, can you see that? It's a beautiful little old-fashioned sewing machine. And it matches right there. There's a little sewing machine here. And I just thought that was so cute together. These roses are uh, I Am Roses, and I glitter misted them so that they are they have a lovely sheen to them. And I made them like a dusty rose and pale pink and a, a brown, which is the colors in this whole book. And then there's some beautiful bling here that uh, it's like a champagne colored. And then there's a beautiful rhinestone right here. Can you see that? It's pink. I just think that is so beautiful. And then this is a little bling that I made. I learned this from a tutorial from um, Jennings 644 is her uh, YouTube ID and her uh, her name is Fiona and she does some great um, tutorials and I learned that from her. Uh, so let's open this up. You open up this is the seam binding which is on both sides. I, I, I use this for the binding and then for the closure and also on all the tags. I've hand crinkled it and dyed it myself and so we open it up here and open it and this is the first page with some tags here I'll show those later and here's some uh, labels that I'll show later but this is the first page and this I learned from another uh, YouTube tutorial from a woman uh, Anna um, Anna's paper creations .com. her YouTube ID is Zanaro1 and she does uh, wonderful, wonderful work. And she had a tutorial on this week, and she showed how to make this. And I just thought it was so, it's a great idea. It's built right into the paper. It's a paper clip. It doesn't come out. It's, it's solidly built into the construction of the whole piece. And you can just use it to tuck little things in, which I thought was a terrific idea. So I use that. And then there's also this pocket here. And um, on this page, it says darling right here I thought that was pretty and I love this paper it all is coordinated throughout and this page is completely blank and I thought maybe it would be good for either journaling or you could put in a nice picture here a nice big picture and there's a pocket here as there are there are four pockets in here that are all built right into the uh, journal itself or the uh, album itself and these pull out and that's the first one. It has a little uh, journal spot on the back, and that's the front of it. So then this page turns, and then we have this. And this is a little collage that I made using uh, separate pieces that I fussy cut and a little rhinestone. And this is from a magazine, uh, from a Peterson's magazine from the 1850s. And what I did is I coated it with a uh, polymer medium liquid and that makes it archival on front and back let it dry and then and then collage it so it's it is archival and then this is a beautiful love this with the Eiffel Tower another piece of paper and then this is the pocket and this comes out and it's another photo mount and another journal uh, spot here to label it or if you wanted to you could always uh, on these you could you could put a uh, photo on both sides and not use this. It's whatever you want. That's what I love about these is they're they're very versatile. This page I uh, used a, 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 an old ticket and a, an old shoe with a rhinestone and then on this page 
Uh, this is a little graphic that I made. It says Home Sweet Home, and there's a little, Victor well, it's a big Victorian house here. And again, this is an old, old piece of uh, music that I coated with the uh, polymer medium to make it archival. And so you can have this area for writing or for pictures. And then here's the other, here's another uh, pull-out photo mount. And we turn the page. And this I thought was so pretty. It's an old teacup. And this is a uh, an old postage stamp. It's not it's not really an old. It's a reproduction, and it says here "lovely," and I like this. It looked like a table when I was making it, and that's why I put the teacup there. It just struck me that it looked like a, a table, so I made a little scene there. And this is blank for pictures, and then there's some beautiful rhinestones that I put here, and then here it says, "Can you see that?" It says "honest laughter." I thought that was kind of fun. You could have put a picture of someone laughing or smiling. And here's the photo mount that goes in here, the pull out. And then you turn the page again. And that's a pretty hat box with a hat. You might find that in the attic. I love that. Some old writing. Isn't that pretty? And then over here, this is the last page. And I built in another one of these paper clips here. And there's some more tags, which I'll show you in a minute. Some more labels. So that's the last page here with the pocket and the uh, paper clip holder. And then on the very last page, the back cover, this is a beautiful graphic of a, a candlestick and it says 1891. And I just thought it kind of fit everything perfectly. So you have this beautiful photo album or scrapbook. And with it comes the four pullouts. These are the photo mounts here. and get those four. They're all coordinated. And then there's also these four beautiful tags that are all matching and coordinated. And they have the beautiful ribbon or the seam binding on them. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. And then there are four labels that you can use. You can use these to label your pictures or to write a little something on them. You could even take one and put it on the cover and make it into a title for your journal or your uh, album. I keep calling this a journal. To me they're kind of a journal because you can write in them and put your thoughts down as well as your pictures and uh, I just I think they're very versatile and that's what I th I love making them. Um, I think you'll get a lot of pleasure out of it. So all in all you have 12 pieces of paper that come with it and the journal or the uh, photo album itself, the scrapbook. So I thank you very much, and please come and see me anytime at my uh, website. It's www.allthingspaper.com, or my blog is www.allthingspaper.blogspot.com. And thank you very much. Bye bye.